Hello, this is Dr. Loach from humanbodyhealth.com and today I'm going to go through the muscles of the lower extremity, specifically the leg, or the area of the lower extremity between the knee and the ankle, or the area of the lower extremity below the knee. I'll start with an anterior view. You can see the toes pointing forward. That's going to help us distinguish anterior from posterior. And in this anterior view, we can see as a bony landmark, the tibia right here, the anterior crest of the tibia would be underneath this muscle. This muscle happens to be tibialis anterior. This muscle over here, we could follow the tendons down to the digits. That's going to be the extensor digitorum longus muscle, extensor digitorum longus. This little muscle right here is going to go down to the big toe. That's going to be the extensor hallucis longus muscle. Okay. Sometimes people like to call this extensor hallucis. If we go to the lateral aspect of the leg, we can see the lateral compartment. These muscles here that I just went over, these are muscles of the anterior compartment. And sometimes we include the fibularis tertius muscle in the anterior compartment because it's anterior to the lateral malleolus. Okay. These muscles of the lateral compartment are going to run posterior to the lateral malleolus. There's two of them we can see here. One is going to be the fibularis longus muscle otherwise known as the peroneus longus muscle. And then this one right here, we can see from here downward, this muscle right here is the fibularis brevis muscle, okay? otherwise known as the peroneus brevis muscle. Peroneus is a term that means fibula. However, science is moving away from the older Greek and Latin terminology and moving toward um, more descriptive terminology, uh, which uh, in this case uh, they've replaced peroneus with fibularis, even though they mean the same thing. Moving to the posterior compartment, we can see the gastrocnemius muscle, and there are two muscle bellies for the gastrocnemius. This gastrocnemius muscle attaches to the femoral condyles up here, crosses the knee, and then crosses the ankle joint because it inserts down here onto the calcaneus or the heel bone. Okay. This tendon right here is commonly referred to Achilles tendon. Okay. If you've ever heard of the story of Achilles, uh, Achilles, according to Greek mythology, Achilles was made invincible when his mother grabbed him by the ankle and dipped him in the river Styx. Now his whole body was made invulnerable except for where his mother held on to him. Okay, so when you talk about someone's vulnerability, you often refer to it as being their Achilles heel. There's another muscle that attaches to the calcaneal tendon or Achilles tendon aside from the gastrocnemius muscle, and that's the soleus muscle. And we can see some of the soleus muscle on the side here and medially as well. Yeah, those would be soleus muscles. Soleus muscle, soleus, early anatomists thought this looked like a sole or fish because it was a broad, flat muscle. Now, if we take this head of the gastrocnemius off, put it back so you can see where it goes, we can see another muscle here. Okay. This muscle right here that's going to round down here, not part of Achilles tendon, but will attach to the calcaneus, that muscle right there is the plantaris muscle. Okay. Oftentimes, the plantaris muscle is mistaken for, or the tendon of it is mistaken for a nerve. So some anatomists who teach in colleges where they teach this, they like to make fun of the, the students and call this freshman's nerve. 
because it's often mistaken for being a nerve. Well, it's actually a tendon, a tendon of the plantaris muscle. If I were to remove the triceps suri, which consists of gastric nemius and soleus, the two heads of the gastric nemius and the soleus together make the triceps suri. If I were to remove that and look at the muscles deep to the triceps suri, we can see this view here. Now this muscle right here is part of the lateral compartment. This is fibularis longus or peroneus longus. This bone right here, this is the fibula. Okay. Now some of the muscles we can see back here, this muscle right here which attaches to the fibula, okay, that muscle is going to go to the big toe. So this is the flexor hallucis longus or flexor hallucis longus depending on how you want to pronounce it. This muscle over here is going to be flexor digitorum longus okay, and that will go to the digits. This muscle right here, this muscle is the popliteus muscle. And this muscle will help to unlock the knee joint when the knee is fully extended. This muscle right here is the tibialis posterior muscle. Now we can't really see too much of the tibialis posterior because it's underneath the uh, flexor hallucis longus and the flexor digitorum longus. But the tendon of that tibialis posterior emerges right here. And you can see it's the anterior most tendon behind the medial malleolus. Okay? So it goes tibialis posterior here, most anterior. Then we've got flexor digitorum longus then we've got the artery and nerve here. This would be the posterior tibial artery and the tibial nerve. And then we've got this muscle right here, which you can see is the tendon, actually, of the flexor hallucis longus. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.